Manning from the uh, Bonneville County Chambers, and I would like a quick introduction. We have Madam Clerk from Fremont County who is uh, joining us. And Madam Clerk, can you hear me okay? Yes, Your Honor. Terrific. We also have our court reporter who's joining us. We have the Bonneville County. Wood, Mr. Wood, can you hear me? Yes. And good morning to you. Good and morning. joining us from Madison County, we have Ms. Valo Daybell, along with Council Mr. Means. Can you, he you hear me okay? We can, Your Honor. Thank you. Terrific. This morning is the arraignment, and Ms. Vallow, the court has a prosecuting attorney's information that is before me. Uh, have you seen that document? Yes. And do you have any objection to the court proceeding with this arraignment over Zoom today? No. In a moment, I'm going to ask you if uh, you have any um, objection to the court reading or waiving the reading of the information. But first, I want to just advise you of a couple of things. You will have three options this morning, which include court entering a guilty plea on your behalf. I want you to understand that this morning as I present this prosecuting attorney's information to you, you have the right to have a trial by a jury. You also have the right to confront witnesses, call your own witnesses and summon and subpoena them if you desire. And as it relates to uh, making any statements, you have the right to remain silent and counsel could enter your plea on uh, your behalf if you wish. You've recognized that you have seen that prosecuting attorney's information this morning. Would you like me to read you that prosecuting attorney's information or do you waive the reading? Your, Your Honor, if I may, there for a moment you froze when I think you were explaining the three options that she could plea as far as today. And my client does waive the formal reading of the prosecutor's information documents. Okay, well, thank you. I do want to go over with you uh, at a minimum the counts that are alleged and the potential punishment that is associated with each of those counts. In the court looking at this prosecuting attorney's information in count one, you are conspiracy to commit destruction, alteration, or concealment of evidence. It's a felony under Idaho law, punishable up to five years in prison and a $10,000 fine. Count two, is the same charge with the same punishment and the same potential fine. As I understand it, having waived the reading of the information, then now is the opportunity, ma'am, to enter a plea of either guilty or not guilty. How would you like to reflect your plea? Your Honor, on behalf of Mrs. Daybell, she enters a not guilty plea to both charges and a request for a pretrial and a jury trial. Uh, very well. Then Madam Clerk and I will uh, provide you with a trial. I know that the court and the council identified dates. I just want to confirm whether these are agreeable. The jury trial would be set for April the 2nd of 2021 at 10 a.m. with a pretrial conference of March the 22nd. Madam Clerk, is that also at two um, at, at ten a.m.? Yeah. At ten a.m., is that agreeable with the state? Yes, Your Honor. And the defense. It, it is, Your Honor. Okay. Is there anything else that you would like to conduct for today's hearing? Not from the state, the, Your Honor. Mister Wood. Not no, not from the state. Mr. Means, I didn't hear whether you had any other business for today. No, no other business, Your Honor. Okay, then we will look forward to uh, coming together for our pretrial conferences. If there's anything by way of pretrial motions that need attention before we'll set the matters for hearing.